and that's a mezzo-soprano and then the three instrumentalists are playing both ancient and modern instruments and they are gusle and cello, lyre and harp, and aulos and flute. by many, many voices. So the idea is eventually when we start touring, we're going to have a chorus that we bring and then chorus that the is local, chorus. that we employ uh, women from wherever we are to join us and sing with us. That's great. So you're always bringing in the, the yeah. community to mm -hmm. where you're traveling. Mm -hmm. When I first saw your sculptures, I was stunned because I felt like we were in dialogue together. And then I read the libretto. I felt as though there was some aspect of myself I was reading about. And it dropped into that place of women's voices. Next to this blonde, fair with his hair, like sunshine, so quiet, so still. Like being content with sunshine and nothing else. His hair so much like Gwen's, though hers was curly, made no sense. So tangled, made no sense. Is that a hair of mine tangled with her? I wrote the lyrics to the first song, although it was Penelope's world in the Odyssey, all the names of the lovers were contemporary. So that became a map of it being then and now. Next to Sean, who made me whole again, as he slammed me against the wall. Stephanie, who cut all her locks for me, even though I asked only for one, she asked to weave it in herself. I told her no, the blanket was mine, the blanket was mine, the blanket. 
is mine. Weaving the questions mm -hmm. and weaving the relationships without the need to answer, mm -hmm. but through the questioning. That's one of the wonderful things about the libretto, is mm -hmm. that it ends with a question. Ooh.